Well, there's just something about children and water. Most of them love it. Splashing, playing, swimming. Some parents, though, look at splash pads as a good neighborhood alternative to beaches, lakes, or pools. But where there are kids, there are germs. WCBI's Victoria Bailey takes a look at how one city is keeping the splash pad clean and fun. Come on, Nina. Meet Nina Ferguson. We are here to let them get cool. She and her grandkids visit J.L. King Park Splash Pad a few times a week. There's nothing much for them to do here, and I bring them out by once or twice a week and let them cool off and play. Shalomark Simpson runs maintenance on the splash pad. He says keeping it safe for the community is a year-round job. Going in and making sure that all of your pipes for the winter are taken care of um, appropriately and properly. Uh, and so once we do that, we're able to shut it down so the um, pipes and stuff would not bust um, during the winter so we won't have no major issue. When the season start back, we just make sure that all of our pumps and all of our um, um, water um, system is running um, appropriately and correctly. And so it's pretty much easy maintenance. If you want to bring your family, you should note this. Most public splash pads aren't monitored around the clock, nor do they have a lifeguard on duty. Simpson says the department makes frequent visits and they rely on the public as an extra set of ears and eyes. Yeah, well, the, the citizens in the community, they are um, pretty up to par. And so they make sure that things are um, safe and the parents are here all the time. They pretty much police the area, so um, they help us uh, do our job and make it make life very easy for us. If you see a problem, just call. The numbers to contact the rec department are posted on signs throughout the Splash Pad Park. Director Herman Peters, um, he will take that call and then he will more than likely uh, give the information to Trent Hems. Trent Hems, who is the maintenance uh, director, he will more than likely contact me and then that's how we'll take care of an issue like that. And then we will look into getting the, um, the individuals that we need to um, um, get to rectify the situation. And Ferguson says that's just what she will do. If I see a problem, something that endangers the kids or something, I would call Park and Recreation, I would. Reporting in Starkville for WCBI News, I'm Victoria Bailey. Now, Simpson's also, Simpson rather also says in the event of an issue occurring, the rec department will immediately address those issues and work toward getting them fixed.